Hong Kong stocks edged marginally lower today on the last session of the first half of the year, reflecting the slide since February. The Hang Seng Index lost over 4 percent in the six months to June, making it one of the worst global performers, Chloe Fong reports. The Hang Seng Index dipped on the last session of a bearish quarter. Despite climbing above the key 19,000-point level once, it ended the day flat. Between April and June, the benchmark lost a total of 1,483 points, or 7.2 percent, down from the end of March, making it the worst quarter since borders reopened. The loss for the first six months of the year was 864 points, or over 4 percent. Investors had two words to describe the trend, very disappointing, especially after prices skyrocketed at the end of January, when the index jumped to around 22,700 points. Analysts blamed the slump on the banking crisis in the United States and Europe, along with rising interest rates and China's faltering recovery. One of the key points is because the economic rebound is less than forecast, if we divide the total uh, stock market into two groups, one is with AI, one is without AI. <laughs> so you can see that US, you can see Japan, Taiwan, Korea, they are in the AI group, mm. so they outperform. Right. But for Hong Kong, we, we have a less robust economic growth in China. We have some um, volatility uh, in U.S. and we do not have the AI investment frame. Surging oil prices benefited energy giant PetroChina, which was the best performer in the past six months, rising nearly 52 percent. Electric vehicle makers were boosted by national support, with BYD company's valuation jumping nearly threefold during the period. But property shares dived because of declining prices and a weak market. CG Services and Country Garden both lost a whopping over 40 percent in the first half of 2023. Looking ahead, investors predicted that Chinese stimulus measures in the second half of the year will boost Hong Kong stocks. Clay Fong, HKIBC.